The best way to manage those risks is to own assets that have the same characteristics as the liabilities, and liabilities are our future pension payments, and so we want to own assets that appreciate when, when interest rates are declining uh, and appreciate when inflation's increasing uh, and uh, have less sensitivity to, to, uh, to equity. So what we've done is we've constructed a portfolio uh, to, to, as best we can, mitigate those risks. We've broken the portfolio down into two components. One is the uh, uh, liability hedge portfolio, and that contains most of our physical assets, and we have a return-seeking portfolio. So those two pieces of the portfolio play, play different roles. The, the uh, liability hedge portfolio is designed to mitigate those risks as much as possible. And so uh, what we own in that portfolio uh, are, is mainly long-term bonds because they will appreciate if interest rates decline, uh, and they, they off, so they offset that risk. And we own real, real return bonds and real estate, and both of those have inflation-sensitive characteristics that, that offset the inflation risk in the plan. Uh, now, if, if we could meet our return requirement by just owning those assets, that's all we would do. But unfortunately, in today's environment, uh, that would produce a rate of return of around 4%, and we need to earn a rate of return uh, somewhere uh, around 6 in order to meet the obligations of the plan. So we need to get additional return through other, other uh, resources. So we, we, we constructed a return-seeking portfolio, essentially done using derivatives uh, as, uh, to a augment the return of that portfolio. So. Uh, within that, we own, uh, uh, we get equity exposure through uh, derivative contracts, and we get our, our credit exposure also with using uh, credit derivatives.